Jayla. So, I thought I'd um, talk to Miss Jayla and ask her to explain in her own words, um, or describe in her own words, um, some of her experiences um, that she had with Jim. Jayla came to the GEMS program in 2015 when she was about 12 years old. And Miss Jayla is or will be 15 or is 15. At the time of this recording, she is not 15 yet, but she will be 15 by the time you see it. <laughs> so. Miss Jayla, can you tell us some of the um, things or experiences that you had with the GEMS program? Um, yay. Volunteering, uh, going to different workshops, doing book club, being tutor. Cool. Um, can you tell us what what were some of the things or the thing that you enjoyed the most I mean you know sometimes we we have a more favorite thing than we like doing than the other which is fine we're all different we all have different interests um, volunteering. Like to help yeah that's one thing that is very true about you Jayla you are a servant at heart you love to serve and help people and um, it is a special gift that you possess. Um, I can think back of the times when um, you were the only one who stepped up to, um, you know, help with whatever needed to be done to get ready for workshops or whatever we were doing. You would always say, do you need any help? And um, that was always um, such a blessing and such um, an added um, asset and gift to um, the GEMS program. So thank you, Miss Shayla. Um, what was one of the things um, that you liked the least? <laughs> um, the, like, socializing with the other girls. I mean, it's not like, just, it's not because I'm shy or anything, it's just like, right. it's kind of clash. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I mean, that's a part of life, you know, um, learning to get along with others and, um, you know, it's easier to get along with people who are just like you or people that you have co things in common with, but, um, when you don't think you have anything in common with somebody, then it can be challenging. But I always say, um, find that common thing and build on that. <laughs> if anything, we're all girls, so we all have some of the same, <laughs> well, we have the same parts, but we all have some of the same, um, you know, things that we deal with in life. Um, one thing I can say about you, even though you did not um, really do the social thing and you, you, you did, you know, try to do it and get through it, um, like I said, it, it is a necessary part of life. So I commend you for that, Ms. J. Um, what's one thing that is different about you since you started the GEMS program till now? Um, you had a confidence boost. Like more confidence. More confidence. Yeah, definitely. You're like Miss Bold now. <laughs> so, anyway, um, if you had to, um, if you met a girl and, you know, you had to say um, or describe the GEMS program to her or maybe like refer her to GEMS, you know, what What would you tell her? Like, if, if you met somebody and you thought, hey, you know, I think the GEMS program would be good for this girl. What What would you tell her um, about GEMS? Like, how could GEMS help? Um, I don't 
just tell her, like, I'd listen to her first and then, like, tell her what could be helped if she joined the program. Right, right. So you would, um, basically base it on her needs or whatever she was going through. Awesome. Well, thank you, Ms. J, for sharing that information about your experience in the GEMS program. We love you.